I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and this is a look at the Xterra treadmill after two years of use. So I got this thing actually a little bit over two years ago, and the reasons I chose it at the time were that it's pretty compact, so it fits into this little nook in my house, and it's just very basic. It's a very simple treadmill if you just want to do some basic walking and running. I like to use it here in California when we're in the rainy season, and it's a little unpredictable whether you can walk outside. Um, overall, it's held up really well for two years. I use it not necessarily every day, but somebody in my family will use it almost every day. And um, the one thing I would say is you do have to do a little bit of maintenance with this. So there's a process for um, adding some oil to the, uh, the tread here periodically, and sometimes you have to adjust it. I've had to do that probably two or three times in the course of the time that I've had it so far. Um, but that's really the only maintenance. It folds up really easily, so this whole thing can kind of lift up and click in if you want to have even, you know, fold it up and move it out of the way, and that's been nice to have too. Um, in terms of the actual operation, it's super easy. We just go ahead and, uh, and switch this on. It's gonna count down, and then we can choose our speed on here. One thing I found a little confusing, once you select the speed, you still have to press enter <laughs> before it's actually gonna set that speed, but, um, you know, overall works really well and pretty smooth. It's not necessarily the quietest, it's not necessarily the most comfortable tread on here, but you know, again, for just basic walking and even some running, I think I've done up to maybe like six miles an hour on here. I think that's a pretty good speed to top out at with it. Um, yeah, I've been very happy with how it's held up over the last two years.